This week on Starting Line. This really is a discussion that we need to have in Minnesota about what gun-free zones mean and, and how it's a really a false sense of security. We talk with Representative Jeremy Munson about his plan to allow civil action against property owners if a lawful gun owner is prohibited from carrying and suffers a loss by not having the firearm. We have all seen the signs at businesses and properties that say this is a gun-free zone. A law-abiding gun owner that disregards the request at some private establishments could be charged with a petty misdemeanor or slapped with a small fine. For the first starting line of the 2020 legislative session, we learn more about Representative Jeremy Munson's proposal that would allow civil cause of action against a property owner that prohibits firearms if an otherwise lawful gun owner is injured or worse when they could have used their firearm for self-defense. Well, in Minnesota, we have now over 300,000 citizens that have a permit to carry a gun. So a lot of people carry a gun for self-defense. And more and more uh, businesses are putting gun-free zone signs on their business. Um, it really is a way to market to people who don't like guns. But in saying that it's a gun-free zone, they're not actually creating a gun-free zone. They're saying if you're a law-abiding citizen, leave your, car, leave your gun in your car. Um, but what they're really creating is an environment where people can be targeted because you're giving up your right to self-defense when, uh, when you enter that business. And so this law simply says if you're going to make, make people give up the right to self-defense, then you must defend them and you must provide security and protect them. And if you're a, a movie theater that isn't checking for guns, um, then, th then you're not doing your job in protecting people and this, this makes them liable. And so let's say a catastrophe does happen in this, in this type of situation. How would the property owner or the business owner um, that prohibited guns on site be held accountable? Well, it would be handled through the courts. Um, instead of just uh, holding the person responsible who did the shooting, um, you can also hold the business owner liable for, for not protecting people. And, and that's what really, this, this is, uh, we need to understand that a gun-free zone sign doesn't actually make it gun-free. Um, it just means law-abiding citizens who follow the law um, won't have a gun, and again, you're, you're advertising to people that this area um, is where nobody's going to have a right to, you know, have, a, have an ability to defend themselves. We have, you know, women out there and men who have restraining orders against people that have been stalking them, and they carry a gun for self-defense for a reason. And there's so many places now in restaurants and coffee shops and businesses that are, that are preventing law-abiding citizens from carrying guns, but they're not doing the same for, for the criminals. And what would you say to people who think this bill is unfair to property owners or businesses that it is trying to improve safety? Well, um, you're not improving safety by putting a sign out there telling law-abiding people to not carry guns. If you want to do something about safety, then you should be allowing people to carry guns so that, that you, you, your, your patrons are protected. Um, or if you want to put up security, I mean, a police department wants to ban guns, um, they have metal detectors and they have people there to protect people. Um, and that's, that's what we want to see. Either protect people in your place of business um, or allow people to defend themselves. So anytime a gun bill is presented at the legislature, it can rub some people the wrong way. Why do you think that is? Well, it's a, it's a people are, uh, first of all, I think there's a lot of misinformation out there uh, on guns and why people carry guns. And um, when you talk about 300,000 people in Minnesota uh, having a permit to carry a gun, um, that may seem frightening to people. But really, it comes down to uh, people want the right to defend themselves. And that's really the primary reason why we have a Second Amendment to, to hold, uh, to restrict government and to be able to defend oneself. Finally, your bill's been uh, referred to the House Public Safety Division. It may or may not get a hearing, but what is your hope for this bill in particular? And what would you like to see in terms of any gun legislation? Well, I'd love to see gun legislation passed in the House. I know it has a really low chance of, of happening. Um, but this, this really is a discussion that we need to have in Minnesota about what gun-free zones mean and, and how it's a really a false sense of security. And, and it's actually, in my opinion, attracting bad actors to commit crimes in areas where they know that the law-abiding people aren't able to defend themselves. The 2020 legislative session is just getting started and we plan on taking a look at select bills over the next few months. Stay up to date with everything that's happening at the House with our nonpartisan session daily coverage at house.mn slash session daily. We'll see you next week on Starting Line.